now we will move on to the next thing evaluation now i showed you about explicit printing where i use the function print of x to print the value of x when a complete expression is entered at the prompt it is evaluated and the result of the evaluated expression is returned either it can be auto printing or explicit printing now i'll explain you from the sheet we'll go ahead with the same example when you assign values 1 to x it is assigned to it either you can use printing which is called as auto printing when you just print x it will print it the value of x or you can explicitly type print of x to print the value of x there are two ways of printing it there is one more uh, thing i wanted to tell you here a shortcut key is available in r to clear the screen in the console control plus l will clear the console now moving on to the next thing as i said earlier the one indicates that x is a vector and phi is the first element here i assigned value 1 in the example and 1 was the first element and that's why 1 was displayed in square brackets now the next steps of printing there is a thing in r where you can create sequence of numbers in a single vector for example let's say i want to create a vector where i can assign the numbers 1 to 30 in a single vector how i can do that i can assign 1 to 30 1 colon 30 which will give 1 to 30 and it will assign it to x now if you print x you can see that there are 1 2 3 4 till 30 assigned to x x is a vector of integers here the colon operator is used to create that integer sequences going on to the next part how to create vectors the function c followed by set brackets can be used to create vectors of objects as i told you earlier a vector is nothing but a collection of same class of objects it can be any numbers any number of values inside the vector but everything has to be in the same class here i have shown you some basic examples to create a numeric vector a logical vector a logical vector again a character vector an integer vector and a complex vector we can do all together in the r console now control l will clear the console now i want to create a vector which is numeric now i am trying to create a vector which contains two values 1.5 and 1.6 now the vector is created to display the vectors again i have to display it using x and it displays 1.5 1.6 are assigned to the vector same way you can create a logical vector everything has to be in caps now if you print the value of x you'll get true and false assigned to it now we can create character vectors a comma b comma c now we want this vector to contain the values a b and c now the object a was not found is the error returned what exactly it specifies is this is not a predefined object in r this is a string or a character which should be represented only by double quotes now this vector is created this is a character vector and when you display this character vector you will get a b and c inside now again in the same way you can create an integer vector and a complex vector as we have already seen the integer vector i'll show you the complex vector now i have added two numbers two complex numbers one is 1 plus 0 i and the other is 2 plus 5 i these are called complex numbers as there are imaginary parts associated with the real numbers now when i display this x i'll get 1 plus 0 i and 2 plus 5 i inside the vector now we'll move on to the next thing so using the vector function we can create a, a vector earlier i showed you the function c followed by the set brackets now the function vector followed by the set brackets now what are the parameters passed in this vector function the first thing is what type of vector you are trying to create either it is numeric or logical or character or complex or integer and the length which what you are defining the vector for example i am using control l to clear the screen now when i add a vector using the vector function i want to create a numeric 
vector with length equal to 10. Now this vector is created. As this vector is not assigned any values, it will display only zeros. From 1 to 10, all 10 values in the vector are zeros. Now we'll move on to the next part of mixing objects. So here I'm trying to create a character vector, but instead I have a numeric value also in the same vector. So what does happen in this? In the first example, I've shown you y is assigned a vector with values 1.7 and a, a character a. So there are two sets of objects being added to the same vector. You can see that in the next case also, a logical value is added to, added along with a numeric character. And the next thing, you can see a character being added with a logical value. So what happens here is that in the first case, the vector itself will get converted into a character vector. In the next case, it will be a numeric vector and the next case, it will be a character vector again. So what exactly happens here is a term used in R programming called coercion, which happens so that even if you add a vector with multiple classes of objects, it will convert to the same class of objects. 